became this really uh, strong art scene in Port Au Prince in particular. And one type of artwork that certain artists specialized in was metalwork. Mm -hmm. And so they were able to use scrap metal because the material, getting materials, art materials, was sometimes a challenge, and so they used what was around them. And so they would use oil barrels. They would flatten those oil barrels is out. Is that what this is? Yeah, so it's scrap metal. They'd use auto metal. They would use oil barrels, different kinds of scrap metal that they could find. And they would flatten it out, draw a design in chalk, and then use a chisel and a hammer to hammer out the design, yeah. and then finish it by you know smoothing out the edges. And so we have these two pieces here, and and then we also have some large pieces. Yes, yes, these two are the same artists. Yes. And then behind you is one of the most famous Haitian artists who's Hector Hippolyte. Um, many of these artists are also self-taught. Uh, Hector Hippolyte was one of the earlier well-known artists. He actually had an exhibition that traveled to, throughout Europe during the 1940s. So he became very well-known at that time period in other parts of the world. And this is his portrayal of a past president of Haiti, a Florville Hippolyte. And this is typical of Hector Hippolyte's style, more fluid brushwork, very strong, bold composition. Yeah. And we're very lucky to have works by him. His works are rare. He didn't actually um, live a terribly long time and produce for a very long time. So. It's wonderful that we have works by him in the collection. Is there a lot of symbolism in Haitian art? Oh, absolutely, yes. So Haitian voodoo is um, one of the religions that's practiced in Haiti, and it developed out of uh, West African religions combining with uh, the Catholic religion of the colonists. So. Um, it was the enslaved peoples who were brought over from Africa, brought their traditions with them, and then they combined with the, the colonists. And what we have is there's, there's heavy symbolism throughout uh, Haitian voodoo, and then that translates into their artwork as well. Okay.